All eyes are on Springfield this morning as Governor Bruce Rauner is set to issue his first budget address this afternoon. It will reveal how he wants to fund the next fiscal year and suggest ways to pull the state out of its financial crisis. News Channel 20 Sunrise reporter Akila Davis is live at the Capitol. And Akila, some are saying this budget could include some cuts and in revenue increases. Well, it's possible. The key word here is sacrifice. We've heard the governor talk about making sacrifices now for financial security later. And really, today we'll find out exactly what kinds of sacrifices he's talking about. Now, the state of Illinois faces a $6 billion budget deficit. And experts say that number is projected to grow if swift action isn't taken soon. Today's budget address will lay out the governor's plan to cover the state's costs for the next fiscal year. Political experts say we'll likely hear the governor make two budget recommendations. One would show how the governor wants to spend the projected revenue for the upcoming fiscal year. The other proposal could find other ways to generate money for the state to avoid cutting funding for programs or agencies. The first has to be, you know, an, an honest budget and then you can talk about how you could walk that back, how we could, uh, if I move everybody over to a different kind of pension system, that might save X amount of dollars, and therefore we'd be able to have more money for education, or we wouldn't have to cut the agricultural department quite as much. Political experts say we can expect the governor to talk quite a bit about cutting spending, even blaming the state's finances on a Democratic-controlled legislature. And although he gave few details as to how he plans to put Illinois back on track in his state of the state address, the governor is likely to give a more concrete plan today. And experts say that means you may see funding cuts across the board. The only thing we seem to know for sure is that he seems like he doesn't want to cut K-12 through education. So that means higher education is a possibility for cuts. Um, I think he certainly will probably propose um, some reworking of the Medicaid program and how the state approaches that. Now, of course, all this has to get through the General Assembly. And as to if there, there will be any uh, surprises to the public, political experts say that's also likely. They say we'll just have to wait until the budget address to find out. We're live in Springfield. Akila Davis, News Channel 20 Sunrise. Thanks, Akilah. News Channel 20 will have live coverage of the governor's budget address today at noon.